Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 4. Last episode we found our way into the northwestern tunnels, got a quick glimpse of what was in there, and then headed south into Erica's Tower, where we found and killed a lich that had decided to squat inside. And we've just found the entrance to the Dark Side Loyalist's lair. So let's go down and deal with them, why don't we? <laughs> All right. You know what? I have a I have another idea. It's going to cost a bit of energy. But what the hell? It'll help us out quite a bit. All right. You notice that the two wall hangings to the north are embroidered with the symbol of an upside-down crown. There are quite a few people living here. They're gone now, probably left to do missions or to establish new bases. Yes, we found them. No sign of any people yet. Killed all the guards over... Why do I have a feeling that this might be a bit of a trap? There's no sign of anyone yet. giant lizards, but no people. This has to be a trap. Once we get in, all those passages there are going to open up. I know that. And then we're going to have to fight our way out. Just you wait and see. You hear stone grinding on stone. I was right! I was totally right. Called it, didn't I? Alright. Fortunately, we can kill them relatively easily. <laughs> There's gotta be more of them coming. Yes, I see at least one other... Ah, they're coming from behind, too. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. Ow. Okay, cast that. That gets rid of that. Ow. Ow. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, how about I just walk up to here? Those archers? Those are archers. Damn. Oh yeah, we've got more coming in. Yeah, we've got a lot more coming in. Do what you can to those archers. Yeah, we've got more coming around the outside. Okay, that is a cleric. That one needs to die now. Yeah, let that terrified one run. I don't care. Make sure. There we go. There goes the healer. <laughs> and here comes some more. Oh, what the hell? Finish him off. Thank you. Uh, no, cast on him. There you go. Fortunately, we're not facing all of them at once. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's another entrance up here. Yeah, come on out. Hmm. <laughs> An archer. 
These guys are dying surprisingly easily. They're not really that dangerous. Or at least they don't appear that dangerous, all things considered. I mean, look at this. They're just collapsing. Oh, that one's a mage. Hello there! You will die. In fact, first you'll be slowed. Now you will die. Doing. Well, at least I was right about it being a trap. I called that. I totally called it. And... There he goes. Oh, there's another one in there. Probably surprising them. Oh, great. Another one of those. Making a bit of effort to get around to them. Ah, they're coming around the outside. Great. Shouldn't have done this this way. Cursed. Well, I suppose that should have been expected. Well, fortunately, I think we can counter the curse. Bingo! Curse is countered. Almost got him. And there we go. Perfect. Ow! Ow! And there we go. Okay. Almost got rid of these. A little healing for yourself isn't too bad. There we go. There we go. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Ugh, another one of these. Uh, Dark side wizard. That one's a wizard. He's wielding a bow. How is he a wizard? Oh, well, we overcame the terror. Okay. Yes, that. There we go. Coins and a healing potion. Don't know why we still take those. That probably just opens up the front gate. Yeah, it does. Okay, and this looks like the training room. Yeah, I knew you were gonna come in like that. You fools. Alright. Now we've gotten rid of most of the of most of these guards. Yeah, he's hidden back he's hiding back there. And we got another one coming. He's probably just going to hide for a bit. Until eventually he decides to come out and die. There, that one's dead. Alright. Well, we've gotten rid of all the guards, looks like. That's probably where their leader is, in there. Yeah, let's go take care of this guy. Yeah, their dining hall, their kitchen just to the north. No, cast that on. How can I not see? Really? There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, there's the kitchen. Oh! That's interesting. Ah, that must be the archer that was wounded. Okay, let's not go in there quite yet. Oh, wait, it's coming for us. Pustulant Pus Maggot. Oh, jeez, this thing's... And that one's a null worm. Well, these are hostile and dangerous. Oh, they're weak against fire! Okay. Now, as I was looking... 28! Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can take care of what's in here. A couple spells I think will work. Worm. That's a null worm. Sith Incantor. Hmm. The static isn't actually removing those. I thought static was supposed to do that. Okay, got that one. Oh, it must be resist. I get it, I get it. The Null Worms are resistant to magical spells. The other ones were not. I get it. These are vulnerable to stabbings. Makes perfect logical sense. Terror Wolves. These are just Terror Wolves. We'll kill the Incantor. Just kill the Incantor, please. Thank you. I think the guy in charge may be up to the north there. Or he could be in that hall to the south. One of the two, but I don't know which. Wow, Slith Blood Spear. 10 to fire resistance, 5 to hit chance. That's going to be a sell. Nice as it is. There are demons up there, and they are coming out for us. Hello there, demon. Cryos demon. Who is slowing me? I hate that. Can't see the target. You've got to be kidding me. It's right there. Alright. Really resist- well, they are demons. I suppose it makes sense they'd be resistant to fire. Ow. Ow. Fine. Energy, then. There we go. Oh, quit that. I guess he's not up there? Oh, stop with the cold already and just die. Come on. Come on already, die! There you go, bloody hell. Okay. Okay, that's just another passage in there. Ooh. What have we got here? We've got healing a couple of elixirs, gold bars, fine leather, and fine steel. Not bad. Okay. Whoa. 
You have found the portal the dark side loyalists used to send people and materials from the surface and back. It is a small thing, nothing compared to what Avernum has constructed. It looks erratic and unstable, but it must be able to do the job. A ring of dark, pulsing fields of energy surrounds a low stone platform, inscribed with runes. Looking at it makes your face hurt. Hmm. And they were digging to expand here. Suppose that makes sense. Suppose we should leave that alone. Alright. Okay. Energy elixir. And a random potion. And a couple of small things that we don't need to take. And over here, what do we have? Ah, the cover of this spellbook is embossed with... Ah, something else from Erica's Tower. You manage to penetrate the protective spells obscuring one section. You learn techniques for summoning allies to aid you in battle. Your skill with the spell arcane summon increases. Alright, which means the guy must be in here. Alright, let's prepare up. I think that's as close as we should get. Blessing. You know what? Let's... Arcane shield. Haste for all of us. There we go. An enormous man in heavy steel plate mail starts to stride out of the, his meeting hall. In one hand, he holds a huge halberd. In the other, a polished wooden baton covered with runes. He looks furious. So, you finally made your way here. Once again, my servants have failed me. Once again, I need to clean up the mess for myself. He points the baton at you. I am Doricus, master of the dark side loyalists, former proud dervish of the empire, and guardian of the proud heritage of the empire. And I challenge you. Come, debased servants of your tiny pitiful nation. You must now step up to defend it. You are the leader of the dark side loyalists. What do you want? You honestly have not figured it out. We are the students of Hawthorne, the believers in strength, the true inheritors of the Empire, the ones who are going to restore it to its true glory. You don't work for the Empire. No, exactly the opposite. We despise Empress Prazak and her weakness. The Empire's purpose is to rule all the known lands, and she has given up on that, and she will pay. And what are you going to do? You mean after I kill you? I will travel to another of our many cells, for we are the loyalists. Though we must hide in the dark, we are true to the tr we are loyal to the true cause of the Empire, to have dominion over all known lands, purged of non humans and other such filth, and you would be amazed at how many have been drawn to our cause. Well, after I kill you, I will make sure that everyone learns what you are trying to do. Even if you did have a chance of withstanding my might, it is too late. Our agents are in place. We have already begun to act. I have only been in Avernum because it is safest for me here. It is on the surface, but enough chat. I have already said too much. I have made a challenge. It has been accepted. Enough delay. Prepare yourself. Oh, we are plenty prepared. Are you? That's the question. We'll see just how prepared you are. How about a little poison? How do you feel about that? Ow. Okay, you do a lot of damage with every, with every time you do that. But we'll still destroy you. It's a good thing we cast those other spells to prepare. How about a little slow, actually? Bet that'll hurt ya. Yeah, you like doing that, don't you? Fortunately, we can resist that very nicely. Alright. You've got a lot of health, Doricus, but you're not gonna survive this. You trying to run? Where the hell do you think you're trying to go?
You get back here, Doricus. Bah! You are made of tougher stuff than I thought. I had hoped to conserve some of these. He removed several stones from his pouch. They are green and shaped like eggs. He flings them at the floor and they shatter, letting out a cloud of mist. Some of the mist wraps around Doricus, seeming to mend his wounds. Moments later, the remaining fog comes together and forms into several hideous reptilian creatures. Doricus runs. Oh dear. Cryodrake automatons. Well. Couple divine retributions should do something about that. And you. Couple arcane blows. Man, those things are tough. Is he actually terrified? I must say, Doricus, for such a powerful servant of the Empire, you're a bit of a coward. Now why don't you come back here? Hmm? Face your death with dignity. I said, face your death with dignity. We are going to kill you, and you will not survive. Now come back here, Doricus. Ah! Terrified. You son of a bitch. Doricus is starting to look winded. Curse you, Avonite! I will not have it said that a band of cave rabble defeated a dervish of the Empire! He removes several more stones from his pouch. They appear to be all that he has left. He flings them at the floor and they shatter, letting out a cloud of mist. Some of the mist wraps around Doricus, seeming to mend his wounds. Moments later, the remaining fog comes together and forms into several hideous reptilian creatures. Doricus runs. I don't see where he disappeared to. Oh, he formed demons. So that's what happened. All right, come on. Great, now we gotta kill a bunch of demons. Oh well. And we're running low on energy, but these demons, they will not last much longer. We'll fight our way through them. We'll get to Doricus. Charmed! That is very bad. Oh, the slow. Always hate the slow. There you go. Uh-oh. Not more charm. Alright. Healing. Low on energy. Come on, we can finish off Dorcas. I don't care about the charm. We will resist the charm. We will slaughter Doricus. He will fall. No, wrong target. Come, Doricus. You coward. Stop running and fight us. You think to resist us? You think you'll escape? You're not going to survive this. Come here. Doricus roars in fury. Curse me! Curse my weakness! How did I get so out of shape? How did I let you defeat me? He continues to rage at you as he parries and dodges your blows. But I will mourn my own loss of honor later. For now, the work is the most important thing. The great work. Farewell! 
Then he turns, leaps forward, and forces his way between you, and flings himself into the dark portal. There is a roar and a flash of light. The portal closes behind him. Doricus is gone. You feel a small amount of satisfaction in this victory. The treacherous dark side loyalists have been banished from Avernum. They will no longer infiltrate your cities or rob and murder your fellow citizens. But Doricus has escaped. You learn nothing of his plans, and most likely plenty of his forces remain. You have the grim feeling that you will hear more from the dark side loyalists. God damn him. <sighs> Radiant Soul Blade. 15 to 30, plus 2 to lethal blow and quick action, and plus 3 to parry. That is actually incredibly powerful. Definitely take it. Eh, seeking rapier, I guess we can sell then. When you step on the portal rune, you are thrown back with a burst of energy. You must need to be properly attuned to use the portal. Even at its current low power level, the uncontrolled magic of the portal makes your skin hurt. Did not mean to do that. Well. Damn, how the hell do you get in there? Oh well. We've done what we can. It's time to get out of here. Report into, uh... To what's-his-name. About what we did. Over in the castle. Well, first, let me just... Drop all these. Yeah, and the frozen blade is... Actually, we can sell it now. Alright. To the castle. Alright. Around we go. I believe in here. Yeah. Down this way. To Levitt. Levitt, I have news. I found Doricus and fought him, but he escaped. Levitt shakes his head. He doesn't look surprised. Of course. An agent like that, he is not going to be caught so easily. And without a clue left behind, I imagine. I feel that I was right all along. The Dark Side Loyalists were not just a motley assortment of thugs. They have a purpose. And I do not think for a moment that they have been defeated. They will be back. Still, I am sure that your destruction of their efforts is of great value to Avernum. I will unlock the final locker of supplies in the barrack storeroom for you. And if I were you, I would be careful. I am quite confident of one thing. Doricus will be vengeful. What are you going to... What are you doing about the Dark Side Loyalists now? Watching for signs. And waiting. They are fanatics with a purpose, whatever it is, and their leader lives. They will be back. They will. I'm s quite sur sure of that. That door is locked, can't be picked. How the hell do you get in there, then? Okay, what do we got? Another Magus Vest! Sure, we'll take that. And Blessed Armor Band. That we can probably sell, I think. Yeah, we can sell that. Okay. Let me throw over the magic. I, uh, I'm just going to hold on to it because you never know. Okay. Well. What about level ups? Anything we can improve here? Hmm. You know what? You could use a bit more intelligence. That probably would help with mental. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. And resist charming. Yeah. That's fine. Lyran. You know what? You do the same thing. John. John and Pyrrha. You know what? I want you guys to save up a bit. I got an idea. I don't know how many more of these we're going to get. So instead, use that. Endurance to 10. And endurance to 10. I think that works fine. Okay. Well, only thing left to do now is sell the loot we have. And next episode, we're going to start finding, fighting our way northwards. Do what we can, and essentially work on dealing with, at long last, Rentar Irno and the 
evil, hostile Venati. I don't think we're really going to need to pick up very much on the way. We'll do what we can. That is going to be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is Nova, Liren, John, and Pyrrha. This has been an Avernum 4 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.